and welcome back. Now the Marquette area has been buzzing about a new restaurant in town. Steinhaus is a German authentic German brews recipes and a few accents too. This morning Ashley Kirkland is at the Steinhaus with more. Good morning Ashley. Good morning, Vicki. That's right. We are at the Stein House, which I feel like I'm in a scene from Little Italy or something. And this is a great new German restaurant here in Marquette. And they are preparing for all of their festivities for Oktoberfest so they can be in line with the rest of the Germanic culture as they celebrate Oktoberfest until October 6th. Right now, I am joined by the marketing director, Alex Koski, and he's here to tell us more about the restaurant. Alex, what can you tell us about this restaurant? run and what makes it unique well thank you very much for having us on it's an honor to be in the TV morning show and uh, really what makes this restaurant unique is that it's the one of the only Germanic restaurants in the entire Upper Peninsula the only other being the uh, copper or the Harbor House up in Copper Harbor and um, our chef and main owner Justin Fairbanks actually um, was coached up in uh, the Harbor House and brought that German influence down here and so he actually had a opportunity to go to Germany to visit his uh, significant other who was teaching a Fulbright scholarship during the last year. And once he was over there, he, he really got that, um, that strong feel for the Germanic culture and saw how they, how they did food and brew. And he just had that passion to bring it back here. So uh, really where I come in is I'm just a, a friend trying to help make his dream come true. And he's, he, He's really putting in all the hard work and the dedication. To, he's actually back there right now making the sausages and everything. So it's just a, it's a passion of his and it's a passion of all ours just by that, that spark of um, you know, love and, and creativity that he has for food and, and brew. And we're going to speak with Justin a little bit later. He's actually fixing us something up really good back there. And as we panned, we saw all of the, the influences from Germany in the restaurant. It's really a beautiful restaurant. And I know you guys uh, have German heritage. It's really a family, friend-owned business. Can you tell us more about your heritage and background? Absolutely. We, um, we kind of joke around that, you know, amongst ourselves, we have one German built together because we're, we're each, you know, eighth German here, a quarter German here. So... Um, you know, Justin's lineage goes back through his mother, his grandmother are all um, have German within them and, you know, I've been making German food and kind of passing down that heritage. So it's, um, you know, Justin can carry it on, but we can also kind of vicariously, I guess, carry on our German heritage through him. And um, to touch on the, the actual family essence here, the pictures on the wall, most of them were actually taken by Justin or uh, Jamie, his girlfriend, while they were over in Germany. And if you look across, so that's actually his uh, daughter in Germany. All right. Um, and you guys, like I said before, you're celebrating Oktoberfest starting this weekend, and it's going to be a really festival event. Can you tell us more about what people can expect when they come down? Absolutely. You, if you look at your our Facebook page, um, we have the lederhosen, the dirndls, everything. So we have the, the, the get up, the dress. Um, we have three different Oktoberfest beers on tap and we're um, just going to be keep doing the traditional German food, the brews, we get the music going and we'll always have the the pros, the Germans um, salute right at the end. All right, thank you so much, Alex, and we'll be back a little bit later, and Alex has prepared some root beer for me, not a, a beer brew, but root beer, Vicki, and I'll take it back to you in the studio. Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Marquette, TV6 News. All right. Welcome back, everyone. If you're a lover of things German, beer, brats, Oktoberfest, you're in luck. There's a new German restaurant that's opened up in Marquette, and they're bringing Oktoberfest to you. Today, Ashley Kirkland joins us live from the Stein House, where all of the festivities will be taking place. Guten Morgen. Good morning, Vicki, or Guten Morgen, as I should say. Uh, we are back here at the Stein House, and we're in the kitchen right now as the cook, Justin Fairbanks, is going to be cooking us up a, a delicious meal here. And I'm going to join Justin right now uh, to see what he is cooking exactly. And this is a preview of what people can expect if they come down to the Stein House for Oktoberfest. Justin, what are you cooking up for us this morning? Uh, we're making a traditional German egg dumpling. It's called Spätzle. Um, basically, what we're going to do here is just uh, brown a little bit of butter, throw our finished Spätzle in the pan, and get that browning off. To make the Spätzle, we're going to um, take two eggs, a cup and a quarter of uh, flour, 
enough milk to thin it to the consistency of pancake batter and a sprinkling of salt. This is what the batter should look like here. Um, you take that over a pot of boiling water, and we use what's uh, known as a spatula maker. Fill it with batter, kind of bring it back and forth, and it makes these delicious little egg dumplings. So at service, what we do is we just fry it in a little bit of butter, give it a toss, season it with salt, your and, best emerald impression there. And fresh herbs. Toss it again. You don't want to overcook the herbs, just really lightly so that they become aromatic. Onto the plate, and that is spatula. Very, very yummy. Okay, so what can people expect? I know you guys have a lot of events coming up to commemorate Oktoberfest. What, what do you guys have planned? Definitely. We have a brand new menu out. Um, so we have some traditional dishes and some new things that we're coming up with. Uh, we're doing sour braten, which is a braised uh, beef roast. We're doing a uh, half chicken cooked with apples and calvados. It's a French uh, apple brandy. That's a really great dish. Um, fresh salmon coming in today. Fresh shucked oysters. I mean, we got all kinds of stuff going on. So it's really exciting here. Okay, and what's the premier event that you would want people to come down to the most? Um, you know, any night. I, we always do it up big every night. So um, uh, Oktoberfest runs through the 6th, so, but this menu will continue uh, a little bit beyond that, and we'll have a new menu in another month and a half. So we always try and keep it exciting. All right, can you toss it back to us in German a little bit? Uh, Prost! <laughs> There we go. Bros, Vicky. Uh, I'll take it back to you in the studio. Ashley Kirkland reporting live. A little bit later, uh, Justin is going to show us some of those brews that they have that people can expect at Oktoberfest. Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Marquette TV6. Welcome 16. back, everyone. A new German restaurant in Marquette is helping people celebrate Oktoberfest. TV6's Ashley Kirkland is at the Stein House to help you prepare your taste buds for their German-style menu. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Greg. That's right. We're back at Das Stein House, and they do have a delectable menu here, but right now we're going to talk a little bit about their brews and wines, and I'm joined once again by the brains behind the operation, Justin Fairbanks. Justin, can you tell us a little bit about the brews that you guys have here? Uh, when we created our list, we wanted to highlight German specialties, but also stay true to our Michigan roots. Um, so we have uh, some classical German beers like the Radeberger Pilsner. It's great for fans of light beers, things like Bud Light and Budweiser. They'll love that. Um, it's got a little more flavor profile, and it's, it's really nice. Um, as far as our Michigan artis artisanal ales, um, we're highlighting our La Parcella right now from Jolly Pumpkin Brewery. Um, it's a pumpkin ale um, that's sour, so it has um, a lot of uh, notes of spice and cocoa and pumpkin. Also, we are highlighting our Blau Frankisch. Um, we created our wine list in collaboration with Everyday Wines, and um, that's a great Austrian red. It's easy drinking, and best of all, it's affordable. All right, thank you. And so you guys kind of rotate brews all the time so you can keep it fresh. Do you taste everyone? How do you choose? Do you just know which ones you want to pick to bring in? How does that work out? Uh, we love having uh, beer and wine tastings. The staff loves having tastings. So we taste every product before we bring it in, and uh, it's got to get the Dot Steinhaus stamp of approval. All right, and one more time, can you tell us about the Oktoberfest activities and different things that you guys have coming up? Definitely. In addition to the new menu and uh, everything that we're rolling out in-house, we also have the uh, Harvest Festival over on Barriga Avenue. That's happening October 12th. And on the 13th, we're actually starting Sunday brunch service. So we'll be open from 8 to 3 every Sunday starting October 13th. All right, thank you so much, Justin, and I can't wait to see what you guys have here for the Oktoberfest activities. And Greg, I know you're thinking that's a little too early for a beer, but in German, Justin told me that they drink beer all the time. So uh, maybe I'll bring you one back to the station, and you can tell me your favorite one. Back to you in the studio, Ashley Kirkland reporting live at Dustin House in Marquette, TV6 News.